Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you for all your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are currently growing our team and are looking to talk with 360 degree or full cycle tech recruiters that want to work in a flexible autonomous role. In the description box there is a link to more information. We are also on iTunes with our podcast to all our shows and news. Below there is also a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week sees hackers infect more than 500,000 devices with a malicious attack. Cisco has warned that hackers have infected at least 500,000 routers and storage devices in dozens of countries with sophisticated malicious software activity. Cisco's Talos Cyber Intelligence Unit has high confidence that Russian government is behind the campaign, according to Cisco researcher Craig Williams, because the hacking software shares code with malware used in previous cyber attacks that the US government has attributed to Moscow. Russia previously denied assertions by Ukraine, the United States and other nations and Western cybersecurity firms that is behind a massive global hacking program which has included attempts to harm the Ukraine's economy and interfering in the 2016 US presidential election. This week, the Australian Federal Government launches Artificial Intelligence and Internet of Things projects. Under the plan, the Australian Council of Learned Academies will receive over $209,000 to examine the opportunities, risks and benefits of AI applications and uptake and consider its impact. Key findings will cover economic, social, environmental, ethical and cultural impacts that will help guide AI development in Australia over the next decade. Minister of Jobs and Innovation Michaela Cash said, AI and IoT devices have and continue to advance all parts of our lives, from creating more productive farms through to diagnosing rare cancers earlier, and on to creating more tailored services for business and their customers. This research will inform the government's planned artificial intelligence roadmap and ethics framework commissioned as part of the budget and ensure Australia optimises the opportunities that these technologies can provide. This week, Twitter's founders payments company Square is opening Engineering Hub in Melbourne. Merchant services point of sale and mobile payments firm Square is expanding its Australian operation by launching the company's first engineering hub outside of North America in Melbourne, Australia. Company chief Jack Dorsey, best known as the billionaire CEO and co-founder of Twitter, was in Melbourne to launch Square's new local headquarters in Burke Street. Jack Dorsey said, We have been humbled by the support Square has received from Australia's business community over the past two years. Australia is an important market for Square, with more and more businesses joining our platform every day. Around 60 jobs will be created as a result, many of them in engineering the company confirmed. The company has a global workforce of 2,300 employees with offices in the US, Canada, Japan, the UK and Ireland. This week sees cloud marketing company Seismic acquires key competitor the Savo Group. Seismic claims Savo Group was the first sales-enabled platform when it entered the market in 2019. The company has grown a global footprint to serve enterprises across industries including technology life sciences and financial services. In 2017, the Savo Group acquired competitor Knowledge Trainee and brings a number of key customers to Seismic in the deal, including Stryker, BMC Software, Miller Hyman and Canon Europe. Total headcount for Seismic will increase to more than 450 across eight offices in the US, Europe and Australia. Doug Winter, the co-founder and CEO of Seismic, commented on the deal, stating, sales-enabled programs are having a huge impact on revenue for enterprises because they take everything off the plate of the seller, allowing them to focus on building the best relationships with buyers. We are excited to be joined by Savo's group's customers and team as we embark on the next exciting phase of Seismic's growth. 
I'm Brad Nelson. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also make sure you check out the latest shows with David Linthicum on the podcast. There is a link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.